Hey fellow Vault Warriors, it's Angry Turtle, and today I want to tell you everything I know so far about faction reputation and how to increase it. Yeah, my knowledge isn't absolute, the game is out for just a couple of days, but I managed to gather some very useful information I want to share with you, starting from the easiest to more complicated topics, and as I know that this will be subject to change or updates as you guys will be coming to me telling me what you discovered in the game then i figure out that the best option for me will be to just pin a comment and in this pinned comment i will be updating information that i'm getting for you watching my videos and leaving me some friendly comments and helpful suggestions what to check then there will be one pinned comment that will be up to date if you find that something in this video is not up to date then maybe this pinned comment will be already updated or if you have some information, just drop me a comment. Now, that's being said, the best way to increase reputation, the most time efficient is doing dailies for raiders and for settlers. Unfortunately, the problem is there is only one daily to be done per raiders and, and one daily to be done for settlers straight from their bases. Like if I fast travel in here, now if there will be a daily for me, as soon as I fast travel in here, the information on the screen will pop up that I have a daily. What I suggest you to do as well, to do not miss on your dailies, because it's easy to miss on them, uh, go into your game settings, because we have a lot of new settings. And when you can find your daily quest active when started, make sure it's on. Thanks to that, every time you will have available a daily when you go to settlers or to raiders and there will be a daily for you there. It will pop on your screen and you will see it in your top right corner. How those daily look like? I have them already done because I'm impatient and I did them as soon as they were available. There's so a lot of other dailies not related to the reputation I'm not doing them because I just don't have time. How you can recognize it? It's by those pictures uh, when I have my cursor now. If you look at those pictures, you see there is a settler's logo. It's one of the dailies for a settlers. If it's in here, it means that you already did it. If it's not, then it's still to be done. And for raiders, there is two quests in rotation. There is one of them. Re uh, retirement plan, as you can see, there is a raider logo in the background. It's how you can recognize them easily. What else you should know about those quests to do not spoil anything then i will just tell you that when there is an option that you can say in the dialogue that you don't want any reward that you just love them so much then choose it it will give you more reputation and you will still get a reward now let's go into somehow hidden dailies that you can do to increase your reputation one of those hidden dailies it's inside of our series camp, of our series home. There are some requirements for this quest. You need to finish working with Overseer and you need to do her quests first. And then if you are done with Overseer and you are a happy owner of a camera, then you can speak with Davenport. And at this moment I have it already done and he will not give me quest again, but you will have a dialogue option and you will be able to go and make a picture either in the foundation or in the crater. And now this is important choice because normally if, if you follow this daily normal way, you will not get any reputation. But if you, let's say, want to increase your reputation with settlers, then choose to make a picture of Raider's base. And then from, from Raider base, after you have your pictures, go and deliver those pictures to settler instead of returning them to Davenport. That this hidden daily. And there is one more daily. There is Ohio River Adventures far west on the map. If you go there, there is another daily. Very good one. Here you run into this building. No one home. We are looking for a raider woman. Watch your step on the there is she. Black Eye. If you speak with her, you can say I've got some Myluk products for you. And I already gave her then she don't want any from me. But if you didn't do that yet, then you can go there and give my look meat in exchange for reputation with raiders. You can either give a uh, my look queen meat, regular my look meat, but more or soft shell my look meat. You can choose only one and she will take meat once per day. In the same time, 
It's not a daily, but as well can help you with reputation. From time to time, this guy will have a defense event for you. No new event for me yet. Yeah, I'm not even sure if it's like, if it's a quest that we can do a couple times or it's a one-time quest because I did it only once and I cannot do it again uh, to help them defend the Marlux. Maybe just one-time quest. I'm not sure about this one. You will tell me, guys. Then those are four dailies you can do to increase reputation and that I know about. If you know about any more, please let me know. And now, very important information. All dailies reset at midnight GMT. Then you need to check out what's your time zone and compare it to midnight GMT, figure out where the midnight GMT is for you, what is the time for you, and you will know where the dailies will reset. What's mean that if I will visit her just before midnight, I will sell her meat, I will wait a couple minutes, midnight will pass, I can sell the meat to her again. That's sometimes useful. And it's worth to know because it's different than vendors and everything else, like vendors, cups, uh, script, uh, gold, everything reset 20 hours after you trade with a vendor. In this case, it's always midnight GMT. And now that's not everything. There are some random encounters that can help you increase your reputation with factions. And I don't know all the random encounters that are possible, but I have a map with some random encounters when mobs are attacking and sometimes the mobs can be attacking as settlers or raiders. And if you, if you help them defend, you will get reputation for that. I will put the link to this map in pinned comment that you can find it there and try experimenting by yourself. But let's try to check some places that I was able to find this event before. And what's good about those random encounters is that they reset quite often. It's like every 10 or 15 minutes. No, it's quite frequent. Oh, as you can see, I have raiders under attack by Scorched. And I can help them defend. And I should get some reputation. Just important note, don't use any explosive weapons. Do not hurt settlers or raiders or you will achieve opposite effect of what you want to achieve. Okay, that's it. Look if they will give me reputation. You see, I have a little bit of reputation with raiders and this is one of the spots. They all on the map that I will have linked this moment. I mean here. That's one of the spots you can find this random encounter. And from uh, the map I will be linking, it's an old map. But some of those places on that map quite frequently are spawning either, either settlers or raiders. And mainly what I figure out, uh, area of the map, it's determining if you will be defending settlers or if you will be defending raiders and therefore which faction reputation will increase. Like in forest, I usually found settlers and in ash heap, I will usually find raiders. Okay, let's check one more spot that's very popular. It's a donut place. It's usually settlers here. Yes, there is a settler. I can defend him on time. It's also the wolves. So great about it. We have no choice. More wolves. No, no, no. If attackers will actually kill your settlers or raiders, then you will have no opportunity to earn any reputation then you better protect them fast. Oh, no, no, no. Ah! Got some guys on the roof. Can they give me reputation? Those Mothman cultists give me the creeps. Kind of looks crazy. Thanks for the help. Okay, they gave me reputation. I was worried for a moment when this guy died down there. Okay, then as you can see, you can farm your reputation with settlers or with raiders as much as you want. It is a slow grind. I will tell you guys, it is a slow grind, but surely bit by bit, this reputation will go up. Then I hope those informations I just gave you will be useful for you. And I will be updating the pinned comment. If you guys have any suggestion, what I can put there what I should mention is please let me know. I know there is a lot more random encounters 
Uh, those two I show you just very often trigger this event for me, but I'm still investigating more places and trying to keep uh, running around the map because those random encounters respawning quite fast, then you can investigate it multiple times per hour, like four times per hour. I can visit one place to check out if there is a different random encounter. And if you guys do not know, even though you side with only one faction, what give you a boost to your reputation, over time, you can actually make them both love you. Then it's just a matter of grind for both of those fractions. Keep helping them whenever you encounter some random stuff. Keep doing dailies for them. And over time, you will get them love you and they will sell you all the fancy toys. They will still charge you heavily in gold, though. Then they will not love you so much. They love gold even more. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.